let's move on to this one so let's get into some topics um talking about all things corona i saw this really funny article well not funny because you know she's a bit of a donut but it's, it was just funny video but as hudgens had a bit of a oopsie um talking about the coronavirus which is you know which is to be expected really isn't it whenever there's a whenever there's something that happens in society i don't know why it is i don't know why um celebrities have this weird need to jump out the window or to like get in front of a camera and speak um if you're employed to well for the most part it's not everyone anyway because there's you know there's there's a huge swath of actors you never hear from unless they're making a movie right but there are some actors who just can't get enough of it right and it's weird because actors have i don't know if you could calculate it but actors probably have the highest amount actors probably average the highest minutes on camera right of any sort of like public figure i'd say because if you think about it if especially if you're a very well-known actor you will do i don't know let's say three let's say four movies a year to be you know or three movies a year to be generous right every movie you're doing especially if it's got a big budget you're gonna do a, a huge press jump, press run for it right you're gonna be on radio you're gonna be on tv podcast youtube shows you're gonna be everywhere you're gonna do it you know um print interviews with metro guardian daily mail whatever it may be you're gonna go all over the gaff that's gonna be a whole bunch whole bunch of promo plus the stuff you're gonna do in your social media times that by three you're gonna be on you're gonna be in front of a camera a lot i never got I, I just assumed if you're going to be on camera that much, even for myself on this kind of low, tiny, fucking shitty webcam level, right? I get tired of seeing my face in front of a camera after a while. I get tired of hearing the sound of my own voice. How much so for an actor who's employed or paid to do it? Like, you know, you, you've got handlers who are licking your ass. You've got agents who are licking your ass. Managers who are licking your ass. Um, you know, studio execs who want you to be in their film. They're licking your ass. It's constant, um, you know, constant praise constant lifting up of your ego you're gonna want to have a bit of a break from that aren't you really wouldn't a rational person want that just a bit of a chill time on your own just so you're not performing but not for Vanessa Hudgens it seems like so Vanessa Hudgens got on, got on Instagram live and decided to give her two pence on what's actually going on with the coronavirus and delivered probably one of the worst takes I've heard in a long long time um, so this article here from TMZ of course who else would be reporting such nonsense um, here's a video of it right so Vanessa Hudgens so this is the, the article from TMZ Vanessa Hudgens uh people is just dying inevitable inevitable right <laughs> apologize of course for the comment but this is the original video she says people dying is just inevitable like but i've seen this i've seen this sort of like um take on social media a lot it's sort of like an extension of the oh um the, i got a strange feeling this is mother's work and this is mother nature's way of saying you we have to um take notice of how we're treating the world as hu as a human race and all that sort of nonsense right it's like an extension of that you hear a lot of vegans say that it's a lot of, it's kind of a vegan method it's kind of a vegan pov to look at stuff like the, in this weird macabre way as if like you know or have you seen that picture of the the river in florence right with all the boats and shit and it, oh it's all cleared up now because humans are not there it's this, it's this kind of weird um I don't know this weird fetish that they want to you know erase the human race so that the mother nature could go back to being a garden of eden aren't they aware that if they erase human human the human race that includes themselves and all their all their family and friends and their loved ones it's a very bizarre way to look at it but anyway let's listen to what Vanessa has to say because you know in times like these you want to hear from waka flock of flame and you want to hear from Vanessa Hudgens, right <laughs> um yeah, till July sounds like a bunch of bullshit. I'm sorry. But, like, it's a virus. I get it. Like, I respect it. But at the same time, like... You know what she's got, actually? Looking at her video, listening to her speak. She, she did that thing where she went, um, all right, you know, eyes up into the sky, flicking of the hair. She's got the hot girl virus. That's what she's got. Throughout her entire life, she's been, you know, people have wanted to suck her toes you know run their fingers through her hair stare into her eyes kiss the corners of her cheeks like people have wanted to touch and feel this woman from the very time she you know this grew into her female body she's had no um no roadblocks she's had she's, she has had to navigate uh, 
uh, rejection. She's not had to deal with rejection in any kind of way. So, and again, she's, you know, isn't she like a Disney star or something, right? But there's Hudgens, I'm not sure. They all look the same. It's like a three of them that all kind of have the same sort of appeal. But for all of that, you don't really, I wouldn't, it's not the best circumstances or platform for somebody to have very well-rounded, reasoned, uh, well-thought-out, intelligent point of views regarding a global pandemic i'm not i don't i'm not expecting that but it's just the shallow nature of it and again it might be because she's just high she could be on a she could be she could have popped a couple benzos and she's just you know flying free and just thought you know what um you know what guys i don't think this is but it's an insane thing to record isn't it like it's just a really strange thing to record in your own home and just imagine what the agent just imagine what the manager, just imagine what the personal assistant is thinking once they log on and see this video. Sometimes, and again, maybe they're not even watching it live because they might have their own families they've got to look after. They've got a kid somewhere in the kitchen trying to, you know, reach up to the chest of drawers or pull down a whole uh, chest of knives into their chest. So they have to make sure that kid doesn't die. They might have a dog that's shooting all over the apartment, whatever. And then you get told, you get a text message pinging into your iMessage that one of your star clients decided to go on IG Live and inform the world that she thinks uh, people dying is inevitable and it's some sort of like sign from God that she should be the number one actress in the world. <laughs> oh, God. Like, even if everybody gets it, like, yeah, people are going to die. It's just terrible, but like, inevitable? It's inevitable, right? So, what what about you dying then, Vanessa? Is that inevitable? Huh? What about you dying? What about somebody sprinkling a bit of coronavirus in your fucking, you know, Manhattan? Would you like that? <laughs> like, it's just insane. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this right now. <laughs> yeah, maybe you shouldn't. Because, you know what's funny? You know, you know what's funny? Not funny. <laughs> She's essentially costing... <laughs> the livelihood of her. But then that's the thing. That's a good thing about this, right? Um, that's a, one of the only slight glimmers of hope. The only, you know, the only uh, silver lining in this story is that you can't get cancelled now. No one's going to cancel you, right? Because there is no industry to cancel you, right? Hollywood has essentially come to a grinding halt. Shows are, you know, the only late night shows are being sh recorded in front of um, empty studios. I saw the other day, I think St Stephen Colbert did his kind of monologue in his bathtub somewhere. In a, ba in a bathroom, so I'm not sure if it's in his actual own apartment, but no one's any, no one's recording anything in any studio, right? They're all kind of on lockdown because I'd, I'd assume no studio wants to be liable for uh, talent contracting any kind of virus, right? Um, especially in these try in this, in these testing times. So she's lucky that she can't get cancelled, but it's just funny that she would, you know, inevitably this would kind of lead to maybe a change in management, a change in representation. But yeah, and then of course the the typical kind of reply, the typical it's the typical kind of um, flow. I think you could go on TMZ and you could see probably loads of these as opposed to the same sort of routine, big headline, update in the sub subtitle, then you have the quintessential notes app apology, right? That's obviously been pre written and sent to a copywriter and maybe approved by the manager, whatever maybe, and the apology is like, hey guys, as the usual kind of you know youtuber kind of alert for the fans i'm sorry for the way i have offended anyone for the way i have offended anyone and everyone who has seen the clip from my instagram live yesterday i realized my words were insensitive and not all appropriate for the situation of our country and the world is our in right now this has been a huge wake-up call about the significance of my words have that's just insane you needed this kind of slip up to realize that you have a big voice that doesn't make any sense whatsoever because the same person that's saying this would be the same person that is going to go on a red carpet wearing a couture dress by fucking, you know, Givenchy and tell you that they're an activist because they stitched some words on it. Like, what? <laughs> anyway, um, so now more than ever, um, I'm sending safe wishes to everyone to stay safe and healthy during this time. We don't need your stay safe and safety messages, but hey, whatever. And in the video, you know what, the text is fine, but the video is super, super flagrant. The video reminds me of those non-apologies you get from makeup artists on YouTube, where they don't really, you don't, they don't, they're not really sorry, they're just saying it as an exercise, because they know their fans are going to row with them anyway. And if you have Vanessa Hudgens and you are a Disney star, which I assume she is, I'm not going to do any research on it because I can't bother it, 
no, I can't waste no more time on Versace Hudgens. But if you are a Disney star, you would probably be like, you know what? Fuck it. I said what I said, right? Because you know you got your fans are gonna ride you anyway. And this is the second video from her, of course. Hey guys, so yesterday I did an Instagram live and I realized today that some of my comments are being taken out of context. Um so in the text that she wrote, she didn't say that out of context. And you can't take them out of context because you said what you said. You were commenting on the coronavirus, on the global pandemic, and you said that it was inevitable. Some people were going to die. No big deal. That's there's no what's the what, what context are we missing here? Um, it's a crazy time. It's a crazy, crazy time, and I am at home and in lockdown. And I legit thought she was gonna start singing there. It's a crazy time. It's a crazy, crazy, crazy. I honestly thought she was gonna start singing something like just start. And she does that thing with her hair all the time. Like she's very conscious about how she looks. And again, I think it works for her in her everyday life. I think if Vanessa Hudgens pissed you off and you're a dude, and she started like, "It's crazy time, babe. I'm sorry. You know, he was just he was just there, and I just stumbled and fell on his dick, isn't it? What can I do? It's just I think you just forgive her, isn't it? Because you're just doing all this hair puffing and looking at you with those brown eyes. But Jesus Christ! And that's what I hope you guys are doing too. In full quarantine. So what? So what is that? Is that like a weird sort of diss? I hope you guys that are dissing me are also inside. It's like what the. F and staying safe and sane. Um, yeah. Ah, she's trash, man. Trash human. But yeah, I'm not gonna watch the end of it. Check out yourself. Vanessa Hudgens being a trash human is what it is, isn't it? Um, I don't blame her in it. She's had a life of luxury, and she suffered from the pretty girl virus where no one's told her to shut the fuck up ever in her life. So, um, yeah, insane.